honest. <laughs> What's that? Top down. Top down. All right. Um, hey guys, so we're going to take a look at some modeling for ocean currents. And yeah, so it's a big tank of water. Um, this is the ocean. So what we're gonna do is we have some blue ice cubes and we're gonna put them in and see how the water, maybe, see how the water flows throughout the ocean. And hopefully it's kind of frozen, so. Okay, pretend this is ice. Okay. Give it a minute to kind of settle. Um, just If you guys want to take notes while you're watching this, take notes. So we can see right that the blue water is taking up the bottom portion of the tank of the ocean. Okay, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Now we're going to add some warm water. I was supposed to put that in, that would have been. <laughs> Okay, so this one is going to be, warm water is going to be red. So upset. Okay, um, did you put the red in this side too? I did on the far side. On the opposite side? Okay, so we got warm red water going in. I guess I have one of these specs. Take the point of the like that. Like that? Or like over that so it spreads out. Mm. Those lessons, I guess. Okay, so as you can see in the video, some of it mixed with the blue water, making it kind of purple. But for the most part, we have the red warm water staying on top. And that's what's supposed to be happening. Yep, so you can see the red water kind of in this area and then it mixing as well over here with the cold water. Um, so what we're looking at here, guys, is we're modeling between um, ocean currents, right? So we have um, colder water is more dense, right? So that's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean or the bottom of the tank. Um, and then we have warmer water, which you can kind of see in a little bit of layers here, um, is separated because warmer water has more energy, so therefore it is going to always rise. Um, so that's how we can kind of figure out what's going on with the currents in the ocean, okay? That's warm water and cool water. Um, we'll take a look at a smaller, you just want to do this on the same one. 
It's up to you. I was just going to hit pause if you want. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So what we're going to be looking at now is salinity levels in the ocean, right? Um, not all of the entire ocean is the same salt concentration. So in addition to what we just looked at, right, with the temperatures, um, cold air or cold water being less dense or cold, wow, cold water and air is more dense. So it sinks to the bottom and warm water and warm air um, rises and is less dense. So it goes to the top. Okay, we're gonna take a look at here. We have a mystery liquid, which is purple, go cats. And this is regular distilled water. And we're gonna see what happens when we add mystery liquid. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So you can kind of see here, we have some layering also happening. Um, hopefully you can see this better on the camera than I can, but about right here, we have some layering, right? So this purple liquid is actually just really heavy salt water that we made a little bit ago. So that being salt water and knowing that we put in distilled water, right? We can make the conclusion that salt water is also more dense than regular water. So if we have areas of a higher salt concentration, they're gonna sink to the bottom generally. And if we have areas of lower concentration of salt in the ocean, they're gonna generally rise to the top. Okay, so this is these are just a couple factors, right, that we saw, or that we can contribute to ocean currents um, and why the ocean is acting the way that, that it is. All right, so hope you learned a little bit and we'll see you in class, hopefully.